I don't know. Maybe when I'm like being pregnant, it just makes me want to be like an earth goddess and just wear this and stand in a field. But um, it feels right. Welcome back to Bookish and Bell. My name is Celeste. I make videos about slow fashion and simple living. And um, I am currently extremely pregnant, and this is a thrift haul. So I'm recording this at the beginning of October, and um, about a month ago, I went on a thrift haul with my mother uh, to try to find some items that would help me um, get through those last few months of summer with my growing uh, second trimester belly and into fall and my third trimester. I really wanted to find things that were going to work for fall and that were going to get me all the way through the end of the pregnancy. Um, I'm due on December 7th, so cold weather things that were going to fit as I got bigger and bigger. Uh, I got two black dresses, <laughs> which are a great staple, I think, um, and these uh, are both things that I um, could definitely see myself wearing on my postpartum body as well, so that's always good because, you know, if I'm going to buy things that I will never wear, Again, thrifting is better than other options, but um, ideally I don't want to add too many things that I'm never going to wear again into my wardrobe. So the first is this dress. It is a really thin, really light jersey fabric and has this ruching here at the front. No tag, no idea where this came from. Feels like 100% cotton, maybe with a little bit of spandex. Um, and it comes all the way down to just above my knee and it is just really uh, nice and big and flowy and is definitely gonna fit all the way through the third trimester if I do want to bring it into fall with leggings or tights and a cardigan or jacket over top. It'll work for that, but it has been a favorite piece to wear here at the end of summer when it's still been extremely hot outside and I'm just getting bigger and bigger. Dresses, while not a huge part of my wardrobe before pregnancy, I found have been an essential part of the pregnancy wardrobe, which I will talk more about in my video I'm doing on um, pregnancy capsule wardrobe regrets and must-haves. But essentially, when you do not have a waist anymore, dresses become the easiest thing to wear. Like I said, I picked up two at the thrift store. The second one is also black, but quite different. Um, it has three quarter length sleeves. They're actually kind of an awkward length, but if I roll them, um, they make kind of a perfect three quarter length. Uh, this is from Molly Mallow, and it's a petite size, uh, which I assume is why the sleeves are too short for me, but like I said, not a big deal. I did cut some shoulder pads out of it, and that means that the shoulders do not fit as well as I would like, um, but they weren't huge shoulder pads, they were just small ones. So it's a, um, it's a small issue that I might ultimately fix myself or have tailored um, if this ends up being more of a staple in my wardrobe after pregnancy. Um, if I don't find myself wearing it, then I probably won't um, bother and I, and I might just donate it again. But it has been a nice thing to wear so far. It's got this really big, um, longer flowy skirt and then some ruching in the back and these ties in the front to bring everything together um, but really allow uh, the you know these sit right sit right over the bump and it really allows that sort of adjustability from second to third and, and as big as I get um, no fiber content tag on this one, but it feels like a cotton poly blend. It has that sort of like crinkly texture to it, uh, but it's surprisingly breathable. I do not like synthetic fabrics at all, uh, but when they are blended with naturals, um, sometimes, although it's not my favorite, it, uh, it does work. <laughs> And um, I've been calling this my Stevie Nicks dress because when I wear it, I just feel like 
Stevie Nicks in a really good way. And those of you who know my style know that I'm not particularly excited about like bohemian or sort of hippie styles. I don't know, maybe when I'm like being pregnant, it just makes me want to be like an earth goddess and just wear this and stand in a field, but um, it feels right, it feels right. I also got a couple tops. Now this first one I did get on this thrift haul, so I wanted to share it with you, but it, it really does not apply to the, uh, the brief. I went off brief a bit with this one. Um, it is 100% cotton, I believe, although I'm missing a tag. Uh, this is an off-the-shoulder blouse, so very, you know, on trend at the moment. Something totally different than what I have in my wardrobe, but um, being completely white gives it that simplicity um, that makes me feel like I can, I can incorporate this into the wardrobe and uh, I, I don't feel like I'm just wearing something trendy that isn't me, it still feels me. Um, and then the other great thing about if you can find something that's kind of on trend at a thrift store is again, you're not investing the money into a piece that you might be totally over in a couple years, because um, this is just a couple bucks. So it also has these really awesome like tiered bell sleeves, which again are like very outside my comfort zone, but I'm just totally feeling it. And this actually did fit over at least the second trimester bump um, a month ago there at the end of summer. But I have not been able to wear it pregnant and that's because with the off the shoulder styling, I really need to wear it with a strapless bra. And my only strapless bra is too small for me right now because um, one of the things that happens during pregnancy is you get enormous boobs. So, this is just something that I'm holding on to and hoping I will be able to enjoy in the spring. I almost didn't buy it because I really was on a mission and um, it's a little scary to buy anything for postpartum when you are still pregnant because let's be honest, I really don't know what my body's going to look like then. Um, but ultimately I liked it so much and it was so cheap and it was the only item that I really was was buying that was off brief so I felt okay about it and then the next top is this which is very very me it's this dolman jersey striped three-quarter length t-shirt uh, very soft it feels like it's been washed a lot um, it's thin enough and it's been washed enough it's already had one tiny little um, run in it that I have repaired pretty invisibly actually, kind of darning it with some thread. I was pretty proud of myself. I don't know how long this is gonna last because I feel like it's already been well loved. Um, not that it looks shabby or anything, but you know, it's got some pilling on it and it's a pretty thin fabric to begin with. Um, but I think it'll get me through at least a few seasons before it starts to look um, too crappy. And you know, again, with thrift store stuff, I'm I'm willing to um, not you know not everything is an investment piece, and that's okay. What's great about it is that it is an extremely stretchy material, um, and it is long enough that it fits over the bump. And a woman at the thrift store who overheard me wondering out loud to my mother if it would get me through the ninth month it said, you know, pull that out, let me see how much room you've got. And she was like, yeah, you'll, you'll definitely get there. That'll be fine. So I'm feeling confident that this is going to be good for the rest of the pregnancy and also a lovely thing to wear postpartum. Um, as I'll talk about again in the pregnancy capsule wardrobes, regrets and must haves, the length is what ends up being pretty important about getting over that bump. The final piece that I picked up is something that I can definitely wear postpartum and that's because it is a jacket um, and it's this amazing leather jacket. So uh, one of the great things about pregnancy is all of your jackets and all of your cardigans, as long as you don't need to close them, they still fit and they still look great. Uh, and that is a wonderful way to continue to express your own personal style and feel stylish, even if you're wearing a lot of things that feel slightly strange to you and your body feels slightly strange to you. So I found this leather jacket. Um, sometimes leather at the thrift store can be super marked up, but this one was not bad. 
I don't have the price tags for any of these things anymore, so that's why I'm not telling you the exact price. But anyway, um, the lining is just like a, a basic poly, you know, whatever. It's it's not amazing, but it's not bad. And then um, you got tons of leather here. This is kind of a longer style. It's got this cool sort of, um, I don't know what you would call that, at the back where it's kind of like a wind break opening. I do not know the term for that. I know a lot of terms from fashion because I used to I used to work in fashion retail, but I do not know that term. Anyway, it also has these really cool uh now, there I can't think of this word, but that is because I have pregnancy brain. I do know this word. It is drawstring. It's a very common word. <laughs> you guys, it's like it's a real thing. All my, you know, stuff is like making her brain. It's not servicing mine anymore. Anyway, love that detail. This is just like very fun jacket. Um, it's got these, you know, slightly too short sleeves. It's probably petite or something, but I would wear them world anyway, so that's not an issue. And um, I just love how it is, a, you know like a fun black leather jacket but it's not a biker jacket so it actually is something a little bit different and um, I think could be fun and, and add another layer of interest to my wardrobe because while I don't have a leather biker jacket at the moment I do have like denim jackets and other jackets of that length and similar style so having a longer jacket like this is you know a nice way to um, add the option of a different silhouette uh, and something that's you know just a little bit original on my own which is one of the great things about buying things secondhand is you find stuff like that so that is everything that I found at the thrift store this time um, let me know if you would like to see more thrift hauls in the future and also if you'd like to see a thrift with me video so you can take a look at the behind the scenes process a little more and I would love to take you along. Um, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. It helps other people find me and subscribe if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Oh,